Hello everyone. Let me introduce myself. My name is Maximus McCullough and I'm a web developer at AbleWebsitePro.com and my whole line of reasoning in creating this little series is to have you walk along the road with me from the very start. So this is the video series for people that are interested in web development or pro computer programming, coding, but you just don't know where to start. And I'm going to take you through one step at a time so that you you are going to be able to develop code. Okay. Now, if you have a computer and you know how to turn it on, you know how to watch YouTube, you're already halfway there. Okay. So all you got to do is subscribe to this channel and stay tuned because I'm going to continue to produce these tutorials for programming for be for beginners. Okay, now if you're looking at my screen and you're thinking to yourself, well that's a weird kind of screen, that's because I use a program called Linux as my operating system. Uh, I also have Windows and Mac for customers that I need to uh, help them with their systems, but I prefer to use a Linux system. And as you advance, you'll probably want to use a Linux system too, but we're not going to get into all that. Web development's real simple. Okay, it's, It just goes back to things have to be logical and making sense. So if you find your little, if you're on a Windows platform, you're going to look for your little Start Windows button. Okay, The next thing that you're going to look for is whenever you type in search is look type in notepad n-o-t-e-p-a-d and you're, you want to look for a little symbol that looks like this and click on it okay just bring that up and let that sit there and then if you're on um, Macintosh what you want to do is go to your little finder uh, and then or in the search at the top type in um, oh what is it It is called text edit. All right. You want to look for the text edit um, application, and here's what that icon looks like. It looks like this icon right here. All right. So when you find those, just fire them up, and all of them are going to be the same thing. You just want to make sure that in in this particular one, you only have one certain step. You got to make sure that you're writing in plain text. You know, you don't want to have any fancy so go to your edit settings and make sure it's in plain text all right now on my Linux program my equivalent is this text editor okay that's that's what mine looks like and we're just going to start diving right in over and over again you're gonna hear me refer to the bare bones HTML document all right so let's start writing this together we do less than sign we type in HTML, all lowercase, okay, HTML, all lowercase, and then a greater than sign. And then what we want to do is make a less than sign, then the forward slash, it's right where the question mark is, and then type in HTML again, just like that. This is an HTML tag, and everything, every web page that you see on the internet begins with this, and ends with this. Everything else is in between those two little greater and less than signs. Okay. Now if you put your cursor in there, drop it down a couple spaces, we're going to type in head. So we do a less than sign. We type in H-E-A-D just like that. A greater than sign. A less than sign with a forward slash and type in head like that. And then once again a greater than sign. So you see what's going on here. We uh, put this head tag inside this HTML tag. All right. That's what we did there. And we could put stuff in inside the head. And indeed we will. Um, but first of all, go to the end of the head tag and make a new line and type in body, B-O-D-Y, with the less than and greater sign. And then do your closing body tag, just like that. Okay. There you go. That is your bare bones HTML document. 
okay and from here on out whenever I say bare bones HTML document this is what I'm going to be referring to and from that we're going to start creating things okay so let's start inside this head tag so if we go inside this head tag well let's go ahead and save this first so I'm going to just full screen this I'm going to go to file and then click save as and I'm going to save it on my desktop and so should you okay I have a lot of things on my desktop the things that you want to look for is this character encoding make sure it's UTF-8 okay so you'll have that on notepad and you might have something that says uh, plain text all right but now when we name this document that's when the magic comes in okay we're going to call this document index just like that dot html okay you see that index dot html when we give something a file extension like this this is the file extension we're telling the computer what to do with this and for instance if you use internet explorer uh, that'll this will make internet explorer come up if you use google chrome it'll make chrome pop up if you use firefox then it'll make fire your firefox browser pop up okay but i'm just going to go ahead and you do it too just click save just like that and then if we look at our desktop we'll see a little thing called index.html now let me get rid of these other graphics and so let me go ahead and put that up here and i'll double click on my html document and watch what happens you see i have a blank page okay and that's exactly what we intended to do notice at the top in this little tab here it says index.html now see my program i use chrome a lot so it automatically brought up my chrome browser okay and that's if you use safari It'll automatically bring up your Safari browser, Firefox. See, there's all different kind of browsers out there. But now let's open, go back into our uh, Notepad or Text Edit or whatever. Let's put something in the head. We'll call. We'll go ahead and drop down a line and go inside that head tag and let's make a title tag. So T I T L E, and then we'll put our title closing tag. It's always good to write out the tag first and then go inside there then that way you always remember that you have a fresh tag to work with okay so let's call this my first web page okay and let's go ahead and spell things correctly right my first web page and then let's just save that you can hit control s on a pc command s on a mac Control S on a Linux. And let's just save that. And we're going to come to our Chrome browser again where we have it loaded up. And we're just going to simply hit refresh. Now notice that that tab now went from index.html to my first web page. Okay. So now you're coding. You're coding already. All right. Next thing, let's drop down into the body tag. And let's talk about HTML elements. Okay. So whenever you're writing or reading a newspaper or a book you're gonna see titles and headings and subtitles and paragraphs and images and so on and so forth okay well a web page is nothing different okay whenever you right after the body tag it's generally a good rule to start out with a heading tag now usually we have headings from uh, the first heading would be an h1 tag so Judging from those other tags, can you imagine how you would write an H1 tag? Well, if you guessed this, then you guessed correctly. Notice it's the same thing, just tags, H1. And so let's go in here. And in the H1 tag, the H1 tag should always reflect what the title tag says. Okay? You can add a couple words, but it should have pretty much the exact same thing as the title okay so now notice we put that inside the body tag everything in the body tag is visible on the browser so let's go ahead and save this okay so 
we'll save that and we'll reload and you notice here you should see my first web page all right are you excited yet you're coding okay let's go ahead and start with paragraph tags now can you imagine what a paragraph tag would be if you guessed P with a closing P tag you guess correctly okay so we can write go inside the uh, the carrots there and say this is my first paragraph on my first web page okay and then we'll go ahead and save that and let's refresh this is my first paragraph on my first web page okay so now you're uh, you got your heading tag you have your paragraph tag all right so let's do with let's go ahead and do an uh, a second heading tag called the h2 tag could you imagine how that would be written so let's go ahead and put in our h2 tag and let's go inside those carrots and let's say coding with maximus is fun okay and let's go ahead and save that and can you imagine the way it's going to look on the page? Okay. Now notice this is just a little bit bigger because it's the H1 tag. And this being the H2 is going to be a little bit smaller. All right. And let's go ahead and below the H2, let's do another paragraph tag. Okay. And let's say, I never knew coding was so easy. I really like learning it. Okay. And we'll go ahead and save that. Let's go back to our web page and refresh. Okay. Now you could actually upload this to a server and that'd be a website. So it's not too hard, is it? Okay. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some other examples. Let's go down to the H3 tag. Now this would be the third heading. You'll notice it gets smaller. So notice it gets smaller. Okay. Now let's go ahead and capitalize that. And let's go ahead and save that. Let's go back here and refresh this page. Now notice it gets smaller. This one's a little bigger. This is a little bigger. Okay. So we're using the default things that that are in a browser. Now, one of the interesting things is you can actually take another browser, download another browser to your computer, and experiment between the two browsers. All you would have to do is grab the URL. This is called a URL, Universal Resource Lo Locator. All right. Right now, we're just working from our desktop, and that's fine. Okay, we're going to be getting into other things later. But uh, one step at a time, right? Now let me go ahead and bring up the Firefox browser. And we'll preview our web page in there. So I'm going to right click, paste, and go. Now you notice that the Firefox browser is a little bit different than the Chrome, right? It made, makes things a little bit smaller. Okay. Let's continue on with our coding, shall we? So maybe we'll put a paragraph tag in here. When we use H1 to H6 tags, the font usually gets smaller. Okay. Notice I did not put the closing P tag. So let me hit save and let's see what happens. Basically nothing happened. Isn't that correct? Nothing happened in the Chrome browser and nothing ha really happened in the Firefox browser. However, something did happen. And if you right click on if you're using Chrome or even if you're using Firefox and you click view page source, you can start seeing your code, right? And here we see our opening P tag, but we see that we did not close that P tag. Okay? So we could see HTML uh, whenever it's on there. So let's go ahead and close our P closing P tag. But what I'm trying to explain to you here is that the browser will try to interpret 
the things that you miss, but it's better not to miss them because that could get you into trouble later. All right. Now, talking about these H1 to H6 tags, these are just a bunch of different headings. And let's go ahead and write out the rest of them. We'll start with H4. Okay. And I'm going to actually take advantage of the copy and paste. Okay. So I'm going to copy the H4. I'm going to come down here. I'm hitting Control V on my keyboard. All right, we're going to change this one to H3, or I'm sorry, H5, and then H6. And we don't even need this one. Anything after H6 is pretty much worthless. I've never used. Uh, well, I probably have used H7s and stuff like that when I first started, just experimenting around. And you are more than welcome to do so. And we'll just say. This is a H4 tag, or I should say heading. Makes more sense to say heading. Okay. This is a H5 heading. And this is a H6 heading. Okay. And we'll go ahead and save that. And we'll close this tab out and refresh. And you can see you know, the H1, the H2, H3, H4, H5, and H6. And as they get smaller as the page goes down. All right, I'm going to blow this page up because we're on a video here. And I want you to be able to see. And let's go ahead and bring it up in the, uh, the Firefox. Now, if you want to know how I blew it up, I actually hold my control button down and I roll in and out on my mouse. I have one of the mouse with the rollers on it. But you can actually accomplish the same thing if you hit your plus sign on your keyboard and your minus sign now on your keyboard, okay? So let me go ahead and bring up the Firefox uh, browser so we can see what it looks like on there. And let's go ahead and blow that up too, okay? And I'll refresh this page to share the rest of our stuff. And there you go. All right, so that's how you put text. And, and when Google comes and it crawls the website, one of the things, the things that it looks for is this title tag. It looks for the H1 tag, and then the content within the paragraph underneath the H1 tag. It looks for these all these tags, and that's how it tries to get an understanding of what your web page is all about. But you don't care about that right now, do you? You just want to learn how to code. But I'm trying to teach you how to code in such a way where you just naturally have these things later whenever you start coding for yourself, or maybe you want to become a web developer or a web designer too. And you'll have this knowledge with you. We're going to end our lesson there. When we come back on the next video, I'm going to show you how to put images within a web page. So I'll see you in the next tutorial. And as we go down our path of, let's go ahead and look at our, the reason why I chose this picture and I thought it was appropriate is, you know, you're starting to walk down this path with me. And so maybe we're a couple steps. We're a couple steps. And uh, as we continue on, you know, you're going to have more in your knowledge bank and more to fall back on. But we're going to take it nice and slow. We're not going to speed anything up. Uh, I want to answer all your questions. So if, as you watch the video, you'll see a link in the description below that will take you to the, the website, Avon Website Pro. And you can ask me questions in the, the comments below. You know, maybe you need some clarification. I'd be happy to do that for you. This is Max with Avon Website Pro. I hope you enjoyed this beginner's tutorial on web development.